The development of new AI tools has made it increasingly important to understand how to cite AI generated text like ChatGPT in APA 7th style. It is important because the content is becoming more widespread and we need to ensure transparency, accountability as well as uh, to make it a standard way to presenting such information and sources in academic writing. This is Muhammad Awais presenting to you how to cite chat GPT text in APA 7th format. If you haven't subscribed this channel yet, go and subscribe to get the daily dose of our videos. So let's get started. Before advancing further towards the practical examples, there are a few guidelines that I want to talk about. If you have used ChatGPT or any other AI tool in your research, according to APA, you should describe how you used the tool in your method section or in a comparable section of your paper. For example, for literature reviews or any other type of essays or response or reaction papers, you might describe how you used the tool in your introduction and in your text provide the prompt you used and then any portion of the relevant text that was generated in the response. Uh, unfortunately, the results of a chat GPT chat are not retrievable. For example, if I give a prompt and you are using the same prompt, chat GPT will take into account the context as well. So it might give you different answers of the same prompt that I used earlier, right? So they are not reproducible, they are not retrievable. And you all know that in APA, this type of text is usually cited as personal communication. However, with the chat GPT generated text, there is no person communicating. So quoting chat GPT's text from a chat session is therefore like sharing an algorithm's output. Thus, credit the author of the algorithm with a reference list entry and the corresponding in-text citation. So the examples of in-text citations and references I am going to discuss are adapted from the reference template for software in the 10th chapter of publication manual of APA, more specifically the section 10.10. .10. So these are the examples of parenthetical citation and narrative citation as well as the full ref. So if we talk about parenthetical citation, you need to give in the following way. And if you are using narrative citation style, then just write open AI and then the year. And if we talk about reference, write open AI, then year, chat GPT and the version, and then write large language model, and then give the link to chat GPT's chat box. This is the simplest explanation of how to cite chat GPT's text. Let's explore some more details. Now, let's break the reference down and look at the four elements, author, date, title and source. Let's talk one by one about them. If we talk about the author, the first element of any reference, the author of the model is open AI and then put a dot after that. And after author, it comes date. The date is the year of the version you used. Following the template in section 10.10, .10, you need to include only the year, not the exact date. The version number provided the specific date information a reader might need. So write 2023 in brackets. This is the year, not the exact date. We don't need to use the exact date, just the year. And this was the second element of any reference after author. Let's talk about the third one. The third element of any reference is title. The name of the model is chat GPT. So that serves as the title and it must be italicized in your reference. Please be noted that although OpenAI labels unique iterations like chat GPT 3 or chat GPT 4, but they are using chat GPT as the general name of the model, right? Therefore, the version number is included after the title in parenthesis. The format for the version number in chat GPT references include the date because that is how OpenAI is labeling the version. Different large language models or softwares might use different version numbering. Use a version number in the same format the author or publisher provides, which may be a numbering of system like version 2.0, or any other. For example, today is May 5th and the latest version chat GPT is using is May 3rd. So write that after chat GPT in the full reference. Chat GPT and it must be italicized 
and then made three version in brackets. Let's talk about large language model. Bracketed text is used in the references for additional descriptions when they are needed to help a reader understand what's being cited, you know. And references for a number of common sources such as journal articles and books do not include bracketed descriptions as we all know. But things outside of typical peer-reviewed system often do. In the case of a reference for chat GPT, provide the descriptor large language model in square brackets. OpenAI describes ChatGPT as a large language model, so that description may be provided. And also keep in mind that later versions and software models from other companies may need different descriptions based on how the publishers describe the model. The goal of this bracketed text is to briefly describe the kind of model to your reader. So far, we have talked about three elements of any reference, author, date, and title. Let's talk about the fourth one, which is source. According to the guidelines of the APA, when the publisher name and the author name are the same, we do not need to repeat the publisher name in the source element of the reference. And we should move directly to the URL. And the URL to chat GPT is the following. But for other models or products for which you may create a reference, use the URL that links as directly as possible to the source. For example, I mean the page where you can access the model, not the publisher's home page. Keep in mind. Let's get into some more real business. I wrote the following prompt into ChatGPT and I get some text in result of that. How to use that text into your writing in the body of text, right? So you can consider this as a standard template, by the way. When prompted with write the prompt, the chat GPT generated text indicated that summarize the text that you got in the reply to your prompt in chat GPT. Uh, indicated that the genetic basis of aggression remains a subject of ongoing research and discussion in the scientific community. Despite evidence indicating that the genetic factors contribute to the development of aggressive behavior, quote unquote, environmental factors and individual experiences also play a significant role. And then give the reference open AI and then year. So this is how you can use the text of the chat GPT prompts into your research writing and then give reference at the end. It is also suggested that if you consider it necessary, you can attach the full transcript of the text that you got in the reply to your prompt at the end of your writing as appendix. For example, appendix A for the full transcript and you should write in the reference as well, for example, here you can see C Appendix A for the full transcript and, and all the other things will remain the same. And if you go at the end, this is the full text that I got in reply to my prompt in chat GPT. It is important to give the full transcript so the readers can have access to the exact text that was generated. It is particularly important to document the exact text created because chat GPT will generate a unique response. We talked about it because the chat GPT gave you result in context of what you have written above. So chat GPT will generate a unique response in each chat session, even if given the same prompt as we all know. So if we create appendices or supplemental material, we should remember that each should be called out at least once in the body of our paper. As I have written here, see appendix A for the full transcript. So write for once at least in the body of text. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, please hit like and share with your friends and please subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching this.